Hey everyone, HHO for all. Just want to give you an update on my volcano cell that I've been working on. Um, let's put it in perspective here. The cell is as high as my thumb is wide. So that tells you how small this thing really is. Um, I've got three negative plates, two positives, and three neutral plates in between each positive and negative. And so far, it's not getting that hot. I actually had this thing turned on for about 30 minutes. And so it's it's not a cold start. It's a warm start. But, uh, I mean, I can still touch these plates. It's not hot. It's a little warm to the touch, but no big deal. The connectors are still ice cold after half an hour. And, um, you know, it's, it's pretty impressive. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised with this one. Uh, the output is way better than I hoped it would be. Um, I also added this bowl on top, which is a microwavable bowl, because I figured since it's heat resistant, I shouldn't have any problems. If the heat does get up there a little bit, if the water gets really hot, should be able to stand it. So uh, anyway, I'm, I'm going to turn on. I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration of what this thing is doing now. And... Um, Hopefully in, in the next video, I should be able to get a liter per minute test because I finally have a rig set up. So uh, let me flip the switch and show you what's going on here. And, you know, I mean, this looks pretty good from the side, but it doesn't really, really give you the impact that does if you look over the top of it. So check this out. That's a lot of output for a fuel cell that's no bigger than my thumb. And the plates themselves, they're actually, I think, one and a half by three inches. Fuel cell's running at just under 10 amps, and it's at 12 volts. So it's pretty good. I'm impressed. So I'm going to keep playing around with this design and keep improving it. And, you know, hopefully uh, I can end up you know, maybe making a, a project with maybe a, a taller stack, you know, put a couple more cells together. Um, I've got them all assembled here on the side. Only problem I've found is that because the connectors are so close, um, I get a little bit of a leak. There's, it's, it's just a really, really small leak. Every once in a while I'll see a little drip that'll come out. So I've got to fix that, but, um, other than that, this thing is cooking. I mean, it's this thing is working great. Still can't get over this. But anyway, that's that. Just wanted to share it with you guys. HHO for all. I'm out.